This exercise is going to be a stretch with tails rails, um, depending on the goal of your training session or where you're at in the goal of what your training is. You might not need the stretch, you might just need the tails rails, or depending on the day, you might be only doing the stretch, so you can piece apart the, the video and the exercises as needed. But I'm gonna walk you through a stretch with tails rails, which is what I prescribe a lot for clients who are struggling with wrist flexion range of motion, whether that's from an injury, whether that's from some sort of pain that they're experiencing from surgery or just from a loss of flexibility and they need to build some strength and resilience for their activities. Doesn't matter, we're gonna approach it from the same way. So the stretch is going to restore our active um, flexibility. It's going to help us open up the new range of motion, which we will then kind of build that active flexibility with our pales rails after. So to get into the stretch, we're going to place the top of our hand onto the ground. Generally speaking, you wanna start in more of a short, um, a, a mid-range position. So we're gonna kind of come here and then we wanna progress towards more of the end range position by coming up into flexion. So you can see the flexion range of motion from here on my wrist. Now, this is a lot of load on my wrist. If this is too much, the other way that you can do that is with your own hand so we can hold here. Those are the two options for wrist flexion. If you are trying to do this motion and it's too intense and you feel a lot of compression and pain in the front side of your wrist, that is a closing angle sensation and we don't want to push into that, try just doing it with your hand. What you should feel is stretching across the tops of your fingers and wrists into your forearm. And if you feel that, then you're going to find that stretch and you're going to breathe into it. And you're just going to hold this for the 30 to 60 seconds if you're starting, but we're working up to a two minute mark. Now, if you've done this for a while, you're at the two minute mark, this is no issue, then we can progress into more of a loaded position where we shift our body weight onto it a little bit more. So those are the three levels. This is gonna be a little easier, middle, and this would be the most when you're leaning onto it. Once you've held for the prescribed amount of time up to that two minute mark, which is our goal, we're then gonna move into the pails and rails. So pails and rails is going to be our strength work that are isometrics so you're not going to have movement you're just working on connecting the connecting to the muscles or the connective tissue and all the stuff that is going to do the movements that i talk about so first we are going to think about wrist extension so we're going to contract all of the top of the hand now to do that you want to think that you are pushing the earth this way so you're kind of like trying to like flick it back or you're just thinking about doing this motion um, we're gonna to start to contract and we're gonna ramp that intensity up slowly. So we wanna start low intensity, just contract a little bit, and then ramp that intensity more and more and more up to the desired intensity over 10 to 15 seconds. Hold at the desired intensity for 10 to 15 seconds and then ramp down. Now here's where we try to pull ourselves into a little more range of motion. So this is where we're gonna do the rails contraction, which is going to be this contraction, trying to pull um, our palm towards our forearm more so we should feel the forearm stuff here contract a lot. So you're gonna start light and you're gonna contract harder and harder and harder. Now, you're gonna feel like your body wants to come out of movement because your body thinks the goal of this exercise is to literally bring your palm towards your forearm so it wants you to move. I want you to, instead of leaning forward and trying to come out of it, you're going to lean into it and try to pull yourself deeper into that range of motion. So this is glued to the ground and you are just trying to um, contract those muscles as much as possible or to the desired intensity. So we're slowly ramping up over 10 to 15 seconds, holding at that desired intensity for 10 to 15 seconds, and then we're ramping um, back down and coming out of it. Now, that would be one round of Pales Rails, right? You might do another one or you might be done for the day, depends on your goal, but that would be one round. If you are doing them here, it's the same movement. You're just pushing into your hand, for pails versus pushing away from your hand, moving into rails. Again, we're not trying to compensate anywhere else. We're just doing wrist movement here. So you should be aiming to contract the muscles that I talked about. And over time, you should feel like you can access them a little bit more. You can get into a deeper position and your wrist feels a lot better and like it has a lot more mobility. So look for those progressions, stay consistent and be really patient with your wrist because mobility work takes a long time.